everybody welcome back to another awesome day another awesome vlog today I have for you a five minute makeup routine which is really really great if you're getting ready to go to work or school or something where you just get noticed maybe at the last minute that you've been invited out somewhere and you only have a few minutes to get ready and you need a quick way to put on a face of makeup and head out the door so I am going to show you exactly how I put my makeup on in order to only take five minutes I'm not gonna speed the film up so that you can watch the entire thing. Normally I would speed the film up just to get through the video, but today I'm actually gonna leave it running so that you can see that it did actually only take five minutes. So I'm gonna give you some hacks and tips on some things that you can do in order to get your makeup on quickly, efficiently, and have a beautiful full face of makeup. I'm not a makeup expert, but I've watched tons of videos and learned a ton of tricks from people over the years. So I'd like to share some of those with you. The first thing is always make sure that you wash your brushes the night before. If you wash your brushes the night before, it gives them time to dry and then they're ready for use for the next day when you're ready to apply your makeup. That right there is going to save you time when you're getting ready, especially if you're in a hurry or get noticed at the last minute. Your brushes are already dried and ready to go. The second thing is for foundation and powder, use makeup sponges. Makeup sponges can be thrown away. You can use one side for foundation and the other side for powder. It's really, really quick application. And then when you're finished with the sponge, you can throw it away. You can get a bag of around 30 of these at the Dollar Tree for $1. So it's really, really cost effective and it makes your makeup application much quicker. Also sponges really help your makeup, um, especially foundation and powder to go on nice and smooth. I really, really love using these sponges. And then like I said, you don't have to waste time trying to clean them and make sure that you're keeping them clean because especially with your foundation, it's going directly on your face. You want to make sure that what you're using to apply it is always very, very clean. So if you're using a new sponge every day, you don't have to worry about that. You can just toss this in the trash when you're finished and the next day start with a new one. Another trick is use a foundation and concealer in one. So this brand is Milani. It is Conceal and Perfect two-in-one foundation concealer. I use 05 Warm Beige. And the thing that's really great about this is I just put on my foundation with my sponge and then I go back with just a little bit extra and put a little more under my eyes. Now, if I'm doing a full face of makeup, if we're going out somewhere special and I really wanna do my makeup upgrade, I do take the time to use a foundation and a concealer separate. But if you're in a pinch and you're trying to get done in a hurry, this is a great buy. This was from Target, I spent $11 on it. So it was a really reasonable price for a foundation and a concealer in one. And it does work really great. It is a full coverage foundation and I'm really happy with it. I think that it does a great job, especially once I put my powder over the top. When it comes to applying your powder, you do get one of these little um, pads with your powder. However, they get so dirty and they don't clean properly, which is why, um, like I already stated, instead of using this and then having to worry about it being dirty or having to clean it all the time, I use sponges. One side for foundation, the other side for powder. It works really, really great, and um, it is a great fix as far as not having to take the time then to clean your sponge or clean anything at the end of the day. If you are using this, not cleaning it, and then putting it right back in your powder, it will collect bacteria, which obviously is not good for your skin. So this is something that I don't even use. I usually just toss these, but I kept this one just for the sake of this video. The next tip is to purchase a contour and blush set all in one package. The reason for that is then you're not constantly having to open multiple things and close them. You just have one thing that you can open, move between your brushes and apply them. So this has my contour, my highlight, and my blush. Obviously I use it a lot because there's a lot missing from it, but this one is a really great one. It is Naked by Urban Decay and it is flushed is the color and um, it has a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. Bronzer is the same as like a contour. So I really, really love this. It's really, really quick and easy because I only have to open one container, put all three on, close it, and put it away. It's really, really quick and easy. 
I recommend the same thing for your eyes. So if you can purchase one pack that is going to cover your eyeshadows, your eyebrow liner, and what you can use as a eyeliner, that is going to be really, really helpful and quick and help with your time. So this is a Pro Fusion Eyes. It is a nine color eyeshadow palette. Um, there are a lot of really, really nice neutral colors. There's some light colors and some darker colors, and there's also some shimmers. So I am going to use this. I'm going to use um, some of the shimmers and darker colors for my eyeshadows. Then I'm gonna go back and use some of the darker for an eyeliner. And I'm also gonna use this color right here as an eyebrow liner. That's gonna save me a lot of time because everything then in this area is going to be used from one package. Like I said, you just get one thing out, apply it all, put it away, it's quick and easy. When I'm trying to save time, I do curl my lashes still and put on mascara, but I don't take the time to put on my fake eyelashes. However, if you get a really, really good mascara, you should be good in order to have decent, thick enough lashes in order to last through the day. Like I said, unless you're going to a party or something, then you may want to take another couple of minutes to apply your lashes. But on a quick day, I generally will just curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and head out the door. Another tip is to use a colored lip gloss. This way you can skip the step of using a lip liner. You can just go ahead and directly apply the lip gloss. It'll add a little color and some shine to your lips, and it's really, really quick. All right, so I'm going to remove my makeup and I'm gonna show you my application process. And we're ready to get started.
you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed some of these quick hacks and tips for makeup application. Um, there are so many times that I am just um, contacted. One of my friends will give me a call and say, hey, let's head out. I'll jump in the shower and want to get out the door quickly, but I definitely want to put some makeup on. So of course I've learned some tips over the years on ways to apply my makeup quickly so that I can head out and have a fun time. There are of course other times and other things that I'm going to that I really want to spend more time on my makeup and wear more makeup, more eyeshadow, really make my eyes pop. However, these are some things that you can do in order to save time, get your makeup on quickly, and head out and have a fun day. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.